I just finished my latest short film, along with the help of some state-of-the-art artificial intelligence tools, some that you might have heard of, and others you definitely have no idea existed. My name is Vicente, I'm a 28 years old Chilean filmmaker. So first things first, the short film is called Merry Christmas, and it's the story of Merry Christmas. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Now you may be asking, you made a short film, where can I watch it? And the truth is, nowhere right now. The film is going to film festival. What I can do though, is show you a trailer for it. I hope you guys enjoy it. So tell us, what's your name? I am Mary Elizabeth Christmas, and I am the original creator of the Christmas holidays. It's true. That's all that I can show you right now. And as you can see, there are certainly AI things involved in here. Now, the story of how this film came to be is what we're gonna be covering in this 10 part series, all the way from pre-production to then the development of the props, which is exactly where I employed a lot of these AI tools but not all of them. A whole bunch of them went into the post-production side of things. There's some AI images, there's some AI text, there is image and voice manipulation. Whenever I talk about specific AI tools, you're gonna find within the description the tutorials that I use for that specific thing. There's also a link to my website where you will find a bunch of free resources in order to start dipping your toes into this. I think that is a beautiful thing about this sort of thing. It is sort of democratizing in a way the concept of you have something here and you want to get it like onto a screen or a page or a canvas and now it's way easier. This series of behind the scenes videos are trying to make you excited to learn all these things and to see how they could be applied into something so that then you can have your own light bulb moment and you can create your own thing. And do consider these tools in your toolbox and not be afraid of them because, oh, well, I don't know what I could apply them to and all that. I don't wanna get too deep into the debate of like AI, good or bad. We can definitely talk about that in other videos. <laughs> There's gotta be artistry. There's gotta be some storytelling behind it. There's gotta be some overall bigger point to just look at this pretty painting. I think that's what I wanted to put to trial with this project. And I'm very, very incredibly proud and happy with the outcome. It's been incredible. And I know it sounds like I'm tooting my own horn because like I made it and it's great and you guys are gonna love it. But the truth is I did make it and I do think it's great. I haven't seen anything like this before. Certainly not with this tools being implemented. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with the world. That's what I'm here for. Hopefully to make you feel a little more comfortable with this. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I don't expect you to subscribe, but do come back next week. We're gonna be talking about the idea, the script writing, tips and tricks that I specifically use to make this script a reality. And I'll tell you all about the original story that inspired this short film. Can't wait to see you all next week, but up until then, bye bye. Shout out to Two Minute Papers. You guys are amazing and truly without you, I don't think I would have dared to get into this, but you guys were able to make it so clear and so like exciting to approach. And that's what I'm trying to do here.